That's right. That's right. You just get your food and relax. That's right. We can figure this out. I can get a clean cup for you. And uh, you can come here to get a little bit of snacks as you're really developing your own sense of how to get food in the wild. You know, this is your place. This is your place. And I want it to work for you. And I want you to be safe and healthy. You grow up safe and healthy. And I don't want you to starve, and I don't want you to get germs either. So we'll find ways in which we can share food, and I can keep my cup clean several times a day. And then I can help you as you learn to develop your own feeding styles out in the wild. Yeah, you have to do that. You have a mom and dad that are just fantastic. They keep coming here year after year. And I want you to keep coming back here and feel like this is your place. Yeah, my hungry little guy. You're my hungry little guy. It's so nice to see you. There's Cookie. Cookie, are you coming in? You're just gonna eat down there, okay. My arm is tired, so I'm going, <laughs> I'm gonna put my arm down here. Hey, sweet man. Sweet girl, Amy. Sweet girl. There you go. There you go. This there's a little one. <clears throat> there's a little one. Who's that little Thea? Let's see if anybody else is coming in. Where's my downies? Where's my downies? What do you think, Grosbeak? I still haven't come up with a name for you. I just feel so lucky that you're around. I feel so lucky that you're around. Yes, I do. You have to think of a name for adolescent gross speak. Characteristics are just, uh, she's a, she's a tranquil, or he. I'm still learning how to differentiate the, the juveniles. There you go, off into the trees. Let's see if anybody else is coming. You know, by habit, 